Hi, thanks for joining me today. I've got a problem from the GEE Advanced 2022 paper. This is supposedly the hardest maths paper out there. I'm not too sure, but I've heard interesting comments about it. So let me know if you've sat this before and what your thoughts are. Anyway, we have this problem here. 2 plus 3z plus 4z squared divided by 2 minus 3z plus 4z squared is some real number, except z is not real. And from this information alone, we want to find the magnitude of z. So all we're told is that z is not a real number and that this number here is a real number and from that we're supposed to deduce the magnitude of z. If you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself and I'm going to dive straight into a solution. But I am telling you right now, that mother that mother back there is not real. Okay, so what we're going to do is take this quantity here and kind of do long division. But in fact, I don't need to go through all the steps of long division because I can see the numerator and the denominator are quite similar. So this is the same thing as 4z squared minus 3z plus 2, then plus 6z. So the minus 3z and the plus 6z giving me the plus 3. And I get this on the bottom. And then these guys entirely cancel out. So this and this. So this is just the same thing as 1 plus 6z over 4z squared minus 3z plus 2. So I've just simplified this in a way, and this is supposed to all be real. Since this guy is real, this thing here must also be real. What I'm going to do is divide the top and bottom by z here, and so this is the same as 1 plus 6 over 4z minus 3, uh, just minus 3, and then plus 2z to the minus 1, and then kind of group together the 4z and the 2z inverse. And so this is just this is just going to be 1 plus 6 over 2 lots of 2z plus z inverse oh, minus 3, like so. Okay, so all I've done is I've rearranged this quantity here. But what's really nice about this is we, we know that this is a real number. And the only way that this can possibly be, be a real number is if this guy here is a real number. So we know that 2z plus z inverse is a real number. Okay, so we have that 2z plus z inverse is a real number, and so that means that it's the same as its complex conjugate, which would be 2z bar plus z bar inverse. Okay, now what I'm going to do is group these two terms together and group these two terms together and bring them all to the left-hand side. So I get 2 times z minus z bar plus z inverse minus z bar inverse, like so. And now I can do a little bit of simplification here, just kind of uh, if I write this in fraction form, it might be a bit easier to spot. So let's write this as 1 over z minus 1 over z bar. Now I'm just going to kind of cross multiply here. So I've got 2, oh, this all equals 0. 2 lots of z minus z bar plus z bar minus z all over the modulus of z squared equals 0. And now we can factor out a z minus z bar. And so we get z minus z bar multiplied by 2 minus 1 over the modulus of z squared equals zero. And now we're going to use this property here that z is not real. And since z is not real, we know that this guy here is non-zero. So I can kind of cancel that from both sides. And I get this here. And this is very nice because this is just two minus one over the modulus of z squared equals zero. And so this means that the modulus of z squared is a half. And so therefore the modulus of z is one over root two. And we solve our problem. So a pretty neat solution here. It doesn't require anything too advanced. Like we don't need too, uh, you know, too in-depth knowledge of complex numbers, just some basic properties of the complex conjugate. What I think is really interesting is that we can work out almost what z is. Well, we know what its length is, which is pretty good, given that that thing there is a real number and z is not a real number. And that's how we solve this problem. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. I feel horrible for everyone that was on that plane.